Hey there YouTube, this is Kelta 2007 um, I'm back with another tutorial This time it's on um, creating um, is, um, I'm trying to um, show you how to make a very simple uh, I'm trying to show you a simple way of getting a very good um, image plane Or reference images for your 3D um, models or your 3d um characters if you want to use it for maybe a game like udk or if you want to just model a 3d character and um, you can see right here on my screen um, i have um, a um, 3d image or sorry i have um, some reference images front perspective and side and i'm gonna um, run you through how I got this. Some of you probably already know because you've heard of face gen and what you're looking at right now it's um it's a thread I am um, posted on um, the Epic Games forums on how to do this and I thought I should do the video version. So um, we're gonna get started. Um, I'll say the first thing you want to do is um you want to go ahead and um, download um, face gen it's a new program that just came out and it's pretty cool um, the reason I do this is because um, I I was pretty short on um, reference images and um, uh, mostly because I whenever I go online and try to get like a good picture short of um, the mock shots and free reference images they have online um, very few not very few but um, most of them uh, most of the um, images you can get of maybe like your movie actors or performers um, I usually have a problem getting a good um, front and side image that lines up perfectly or that I can use that's clear enough most of the time when I get a side image I can't exactly line it up to the front image or at times um, it might be a little bit blurry, a little bit dark, and it's just um, unusable in a program like Maya or um, maybe if you use 3ds Max. Um, for example, you can see this picture of Wesley Snipes I have right here. These pictures, I'm sorry, of Wesley Snipes. Um, I went online, I tried to get it, and um, I got the front image. It's pretty cool. This is of a movie. I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, whatever. Um, you can see this like in a mug shot form so they, ha they have the front image but I couldn't find a good side image that I could match to this front image this is the best I could get this is of um, Blade Trinity and you can see he has um, glasses on and it's a little bit dark and try as I might I couldn't um, line it up to the front image even when I um, took it into Photoshop and tried to like um, resize it and line it up I couldn't do that so for pictures like that um, face gen is very good at um, rendering out a 3d image regardless of how much the pictures line up or whatever and uh, you'll be able to get a pretty reliable um, 3d mesh based on these pictures So, where do we start? The first thing you want to do is um, you want to go online um, and go get face gen. Easiest way to do to go about it is um, just go into Google, www.google.com, and um, here it is. And you just type in face gen. I think it's face gen. Oh, got face gen. Com www.facegen.com and here's the website and um, what you want to do is um, go down to downloads and um, if you can pay for it you can get the full version but um, for this purpose you don't need the full version um, there's a free version now the difference between the full version and the free version is um, for the full version you can actually export your 3d mesh and the textures based on the pictures you used 
into a program like ZBrush or any of your other 3D programs and you can actually edit it to look more like your um, character because for some reason I saw some videos on YouTube um, when you actually export the 3D mesh into ZBrush it comes out I think there's a default mesh that always comes out it will have the same um, texture if you I mean I guess UV space when you apply the texture to it but the um, face the facial features wouldn't match what you have so you have to um, sculpt it or um, edit it in your 3d program to make it look more like it but for these purposes um, when you um, render it out in the free version it looks pretty much like it has the same features for the most part at least the face part does as um, wha whatever picture whatever um, person you used I, f I always thought that was weird but that's the way it is like I said luckily for these purposes if you're just trying to get um, reference images you do not need the full version version you just need the free version so this is where you go get it right here on the downloads you, you click on that and you hit download now and then you download from here and install it I think it's pretty much self-explanatory so I don't want to go through the whole thing so as soon as you have face gen installed let me go ahead and close it up and I'll open it up right here this is face gen Take a while to look. and this is the default face for face gen um, before I go ahead and show um, start um, with the tutorial I'm just gonna take you through some of the um, features face gen has um, over here you see under the generate tab you can um, make random faces actually you can use some of these random faces as your um, image planes but sometimes they come out looking funny But if you want something specific and you have um, a picture of a person in mind that you want to model, I'll suggest you use the photographs you have. So um, you also have um, gender. You can change the age of the person you want. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't mean age. I meant um, gender. You can change the gender of the person you want can make it hyper male, make it um, very female, um, you can change age, make it look older, younger. There are a lot of videos on this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. And you can change race over here. And this is, where we're, this is what we're most interested in, the photo fit. This is how you get your pictures in. I'm going to stop this vid right here and um, I'll continue. Um, so I'll see you back when I get here. All right.